The new flying ship from the Aeros Corporation, called an Aeros Craft, is designed to carry more than 50 tons of cargo and make deliveries thousands of kilometers away. A demonstration model is being built outside of Los Angeles with funding from the U.S. Defense Department in a hangar the Navy once used for its helium gas-filled surveillance blimps. The test vehicle is 75 meters long and 30 meters wide and should be ready to fly late next year. Edward Pevsner of Eros says it will get to hard-to-reach places. North of Canada, Alaska, where uh, big oil and gas explorations going on, uh, same as uh, Amazon region or continent of Africa, which is very poorly developed. Aeronautical engineer Tim Kenny says the key to the system is a new technology that allows the craft to go up or down without removing or adding weight, as is done on conventional airships. The craft is sometimes lighter and sometimes heavier than the air around it. The whole shape will be filled with helium throughout the whole vehicle, and then. Uh, Internal to that, we'll have the, the variable buoyancy system. The helium provides lift for the craft to go up, and when the helium is compressed, the craft loses its buoyancy and can land. Control and propulsion are provided by propeller engines powered by aviation fuel. Engineer Tim Kenny says the craft's light weight and rigid structure are made possible by new technology. The advancements in composites has really motivated and, and moved this industry uh, a lot farther along. Um, they're able to combine composites to aluminum and, and, and build lightweight structural components. The demonstration model should fly by late next year. If it works as planned, even bigger versions may be on the market in a few years. The military is interested in the ship's potential. So is industry. Commercial applications include moving giant turbines to hard-to-reach wind farms that generate electric power. The company says once the ships have proved their metal hauling cargo, modified versions could also be built to ferry passengers. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.